Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting our brand new island and I am so excited. Now you can probably guess what sort of theme we're doing by my dress but if not I will talk about it in just a second. I just need you to realize that Lucy is not meant to be here. She's not. I don't know why she's here. Go away Lucy. Go away. She's just being creepy. Come on leave so welcome to my brand new island hoppington what is hoppington you might ask it is a spring court frog court town court island because i can't resist a little town and i'm very very excited to be building this island next i'm just i'm feeling very green you know i'm feeling like i want to do something green i'm also going to be having yellow on this island but we'll talk about that as we go around i want to quickly show you what sort of map we have to work with and what sort of thing i want to build and that's basically what we're going to do today and i'm also going to start building my entrance so here is my island hopping turn i have a few villagers that i'm already going to keep because i managed to get a few frogs so yeah this is going to be an all frog island except for one villager there's gonna be one villager that isn't a frog but they're frog related so they're gonna be moving here but let me quickly show you my map. So here is the map of Hoppington. I haven't changed any of the terraforming just yet. I do need to knock that down as we go along. But obviously the villagers that aren't staying are Snake, Hazel, Tutu, Lucy and Roswell. They're actually leaving. And I'm going to be keeping Tad, Henry and Cousteau and Lily. I need to get a bunch more other frogs. I already have a list in mind of the ones I want. I'm very excited. But let's go back to the game. The airport is down here and I have a green airport, which was quite lucky. I think this is my first roll and i got a green airport so i was very happy with that and i feel like i have a nice distance and lovely distance between my airport and resident services so i'm happy with that but anyway so the plan today is to do the entrance i always like to do my entrance first now i have a lot of ambitious things i want to do for this island yeah i feel like i could do them hopefully there's one big area that i know i need to work on sooner rather than later so it might be the next build but i'm very excited to get stuck into that snake is here apparently snake is here now you may be thinking well you've seen frog islands before but i feel like every time i see a frog island it's always swamp core it's always a swampy island and I don't want to go for that. I would love a lovely, bright, yellow and green sprinkle island covered with frog-inspired stuff and frog-inspired codes. So let's get stuck into today's first build. I love a river moment with an angled bridge. I do. I can't help myself. I feel like pretty much most of my islands either have a road as soon as you come out or they have a little angled bridge. And I kind of want an angled bridge, but I kind of want a road and I kind of want lots of terraforming and i'm spinning around in circles trying to decide which one i want i think i'm gonna go for a road i think this time we need a road it would help if i had the put down code tool hang on i'll be right back i need to grab it okay i went and got that <laughs> i can't believe i didn't have it i was very confused where it was and then my brain kind of ticked that i didn't have it so let's get putting down some road now here are the codes that we are working with i may have put them in the description i might not have depends if i remembered to do it or if i had time to do it so yeah bear with me let's start putting down our road code though i don't want to leave too much space i think we should just go for it right we should just go for it also i'm not going to head to the left side purely because i know that's where big space is and i need a big space to do this project that i really want to do so i gotta leave that a little bit bare but let's work the road on up by the way this road is by boys crossing the wonderful boys crossing on youtube so go check out their channel and subscribe they do some amazing codes i need to figure out how i want this to go to resident services it's always the tricky part oh no what am i doing <laughs> Because resident services is way over there. I want to do terraforming. I feel like I didn't pick the right map. I definitely wish I had a bit more space. And I'm not going to restart. I'm not going to do this all again. Just so that I can get a different map. It's not going to happen. I know some people would. Just so they could have the biggest space. But I really don't want to. I'm happy with the green airport. And I'm happy with the map in general. Just because the resident services is a little bit closer. Than I probably should have chosen. Doesn't mean I'm going to reset the whole thing. Right. Oh that doesn't look look right it doesn't look like it's wide enough i think i've put this in the wrong spot the angled pieces on roads are so difficult sometimes i just get confused so don't worry if you get confused by your road cards you're not the only one because i do still as well and i've been placing road codes for years <laughs> this game is four years old and obviously i haven't been using road codes like this for four years but i have been using them for a while and so it's really strange to say i've been using these for years when technically that is true right i'll worry about the middle lines and all the little details afterwards 
afterwards. I just want to get the shape down and so that we can build around it. I'm not sure actually if I've ever built an angled road straight off of the entrance. I don't think I have. Oh well, first for everything. All right, there's that so far. I'm probably going to do a little crossing here. I don't have any sidewalk this time. We have no sidewalk codes. I mean, I guess I could use this as a sidewalk code, but I'm not going to. I want to try and get out of using sidewalk codes on this island. Okay, so yeah, because there's not a lot of space here between resin- well, there is a lot of space, just not enough, just not enough space for what I want to do. I'm going to have to compromise. We're going to have to change a few ways of how we're going to do stuff. I kind of want to put a house here or Nook's Cranny. Do I want to put Nook's Cranny at the entrance? I have never done that before. Do you know what? I actually think I'm going to. I think I'm going to shove Nook's Cranny. Oh no, actually, I'm going to do a house. <laughs> I changed my mind. As much as I would love to put Nook's Cranny here, I'm going to stick a house. I think a cute little frog house would be really sweet here. And then, like I said, I've got a big project that I'm going to be doing probably in the next video because I need to have the space for it and so that'll be where a lot of the other houses are too which i might break that into two parts it depends i think we're gonna do some terraforming behind here like so and here we go here comes tutu that is the wall you're walking into the wall please oh my gosh these villagers they're gonna start all coming over real soon because i'm building we know that's just what happens as soon as you start building an entrance that's it the villagers want in. They're like, I want to know what you're up to. I want to know everything because here comes Snake. Unless he goes back the other way, we can only hope. Oh, he's going that way. Okay, that works. So Sprinkle, if you normally look at Sprinkle Islands, they're normally heavily terraformed or completely flat. They're either or. They're never in between. And I think I'm going to go for a heavily terraformed one because apparently I love terraforming lately. It just seems to be something that I keep doing on all my islands. I keep doing it a lot. So we're going to be doing... A heavily terraformed sprinkle island. I just want to get this sort of filled out. Like I said, I need to make sure I don't go too far to the left because I have a big project. I keep saying it's big. I keep saying we have a big project, but we do. We do have a big project. Also, like usual, my entrance builds are normally my resident services builds as well because i always incorporate them i feel like the area between the resident services and your airport if they are like this close even though that's a good distance it still counts as the whole same thing i don't know that's just me though what does everyone else feel do you feel like your entrance is mainly also the resident services as well let me know i'm not too fussed about how this road is going to bend off from here because i will do that when i go to do that side because it's easy enough to change a road right let's Let's bring this up. See, I could end it with these lines, but I don't want to. I feel by using Boys Crossing's little path code here as well, we could really make it look cute. By the way, I went with the dirt road instead of a normal road because it definitely felt more frog-like. I felt that frogs would more likely have a dirt road rather than a, I don't know, a road road, like a normal road. So that's why we have the dirt road code. Okay, so now before we move a house in here, I kind of want to do something, something, something here. I'm not sure what. I think waterfalls might be look really pretty, actually. Maybe we could make a cute little waterfall moment here. Maybe we could bring it forward like so. I mean, if I have to move the house forward one, that's not a problem. We've got space to move it forward one, so I think I'm going to do that. Although, to be fair, we might not even have to because, see, it goes to the house. The house should fit in there nicely anyway. So who knows? Knows. we'll see by the way tutu is becoming annoying she keeps walking in the way and it's it's really not helpful it's not right there's our little terraforming though we're gonna have to get on top of that right so let's get on top I love the waterfalls in this game, but I really do hope that they make them quieter because it's too difficult to concentrate when you've got this thing going off in your ear. Maybe we should have left the waterfalls till last. Oh dear, it's fine. Right, let's chop all this away. I feel like this island is going to need a lot of water terraforming. I normally hate water terraforming. Me and the water terraforming do not get along at all, but I keep giving myself even more and more to do. Every single time I start a new island, there's just more terraforming. <laughs> there's more water terraforming. There's more normal terraforming and here comes the pig again i feel like she's just obsessed with being here she wants all the camera we haven't really seen a frog yet have we do we see lily or am i imagining it do we see lily earlier i can't remember i'm gonna bring it all the way up to the road like this oh gosh thing is you get this weird awkward awkwardness 
See, water terraforming is just so hard work. See, that's annoying. There is no need for it to refill it back in, even though I clearly wanted to chop this corner off. <laughs> like, please be nice to me. I bought you game, do as you're told. Here we go. I think that looks really nice. And then we could possibly continue over here or just leave it as a little pond. Either way it works, we can decide later. I just feel like it needs a lot of water terraforming on this island just purely because it's frogs. Now I need to decide who should live here. So far we don't have all the villagers that I want. We have Henry and Tad and Lily and Cousteau. Well, I guess I could live Cousteau here. Or Lily, Lily could be cute. I feel like Lily, I'm gonna grab Lily's house. No way is Lucy waiting for me outside residence services. Why? I just went to get Lily's house and come out and she was there like a jump scare. Right, anyway, I've got Lily's house, so let's put it in place. And then we're probably going to have to do a little spot of time traveling because I'm going to need to make sure her house is in space. In space? <laughs> I meant in place. In place. In the space. It came out funny. Anyway, Choo Choo loved my joke. Okay, so we're going to have to quickly time travel. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there is Lily's house. Look how cute that looks there. I really like this. What we have to do is do a little bit of a pathway leading from Lily's house to the road. Oh, I, I really like this. I really like this one. I don't know why it's just done that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't even know what I was thinking. I just kept pressing the button and kept placing it down. Okay, maybe we can make it work if I bend it round. There we go. We did a better job. <laughs> We did better this time. Although I feel like that one should go and it should be uh, this piece. Just so it looks like a wiggly, a wiggly moment going on. I love a wiggly path. Right, I need to grab some trees and bushes and some flowers. So let's pop in a bush here. I'm using the yellow tea olives for this island just because I really like the leaves. Most of the time when I choose bushes, I don't have them in bloom just because I like the leaves on them. Also, I really don't like how this path is looking. I think I'm going to change it. Hang on. Of course, the indecisiveness is coming out no see i just don't like it i think it looks really strange i need my helmet today i'm feeling like putting down codes with the helmet on some days i can do it with just the code placement some days i can't it depends how my brain is feeling for that day also question question i feel like i need to ask this everyone needs to tell me who is their favorite frog villager who's your favorite you can only choose one. So who's your favorite frog villager? Do you know what? I'm going to go for some decking instead. I think we can make some decking work. Put a cute little bit of decking outside of Lily's house. I've also got some steps to go with it, which is really adorable. Look at these little steps. Oh, I think this is cute. And I have the other pieces to go here. So they look like the end parts. All right, let's get rid of you. <laughs> You're not needed now. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, it's cute. Do you know what it needs, though? We desperately need a tree. I need a tree here. I have a few codes that I could put down, which might look cute. I see Tad is upset. I don't know why. I've got a puddle code. I've got a small one to go here. And then we could stick maybe a bigger one over this side. Or I have lily pads. It's really fun doing entrances, but it's also quite difficult because this is obviously what's going to set the whole mood for the whole island. Also, entrance builds are where you figure out what works and what doesn't. So you need to put, obviously, different color fences together or fence types whatever you're doing it's where you kind of figure out what works and what doesn't by the way i want this to look cute but i don't want it to be kid core that's the key thing here i don't want it to look kid core also that mole cricket's back are you kidding me before the video started i had a mole cricket issue and i got rid of it but because we've time traveled the thing has come back and i'm so annoyed <laughs> i hate the mole cricket it is worse than the cicadas because at least with the cicadas you can actually time travel and they won't be there but no not the mole cricket i hate it i hate the mole cricket well there you go you've learned something about me today I don't like mole crickets. I did pick up a simple wooden fencing and now we need to see if this will work. Oh, I don't want to block it in. I need to get in there to put flowers. Let me just see if I like it first. I don't like it in line. Right, let's try again. Let's try the green piece next to this side because then it, otherwise it's in line with this green one and I didn't like it because <laughs> of course I didn't. Before we put more stuff down, I want to get in here and I really want to add this code onto the floor. So we could either use a puddle, this little doily, which, oh my gosh, is adorable, or this lily pad. This lily pad is so cute. Look at it. It's, it's perfect. It's 
just perfect for this. And then over here, I feel like the doily would look really sweet. But I'm not going to use the whole of the doily. I'm just going to use part of it. No, see, I'm not crazy about that. I'm not crazy about it. Instead, maybe it will look nicer here. Actually, no. I'm going to go too mad. Let's just pop in a cute flower. So for this island, because it is specifically yellow and green i'm only going to be using yellow hyacinths yellow tulips and green mums just a choice i made also i really like this style of lily's house so i really like the wooden pillars down the side i will probably have time to do happy home paradise for this island unfortunately i didn't for my other island just because i was trying to do it before valentine's day which is such a shame but it's okay but i will have time to do it for this island so i will be able to customize the houses which is so exciting i plan to take my time with this island i think the last four islands the last four islands i've had to rush so i obviously had to well i didn't rush rush i obviously had to rush my valentine's island because i wanted to get it done in time and i also had to rush chili bean because that was a challenge island don't know why that went there why is it done that i also rushed the island before that which was amethyst because i knew i was doing the challenge so i had to rush to make sure that was finished and then also i did my halloween island which had to be done by halloween which was it wasn't so rushed, but it was for a time limit. And I kind of just want a break. I need a break from doing an island for a specific time. So it's going to be nice to do this. I don't think I like that though. So yeah, like I was saying, it's going to be nice not to have to rush this one. Because it's not for a specific time. Right, I think that looks okay. I don't know. Entrances, like I've said before, are one of my favorite things to do. But they are so difficult. Like they can be really tricky. I don't think I've given myself an easy island to build. <laughs> I don't. I feel like this could be quite difficult island to do, but I'm excited for the challenge. I've done sprinkle before, but never like this. I've never done like a normal sprinkle, so I'm very excited to be trying it. And also, I love this yellow mushroom. Oh my gosh. I love the color yellow. I know it's not everyone's favorite color, but I really like it. I love the color yellow. I know some people have done yellow islands. I mean, it's a very rare thing, but look at this. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> I'm already excited. Oh no, do I like that there? Actually, yes, I do. Yes, I like this. Obviously, I need to put the lines in yet. I need to put the lines in for the road. Right, can I stick another tree in maybe here? Because I've got a cedar. Yes, beautiful cedar. Once again, I'm gonna try and convince myself that I don't need to fill in every gap and still continue to fill in every square. I'm gonna stick vertical board fence along here. Oh no, I'm not digging up that tree. Now, because I don't wanna dig up the tree, I'm gonna have to do this. So we're gonna have to put it all the way along. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're gonna have to put it all the way along and then just pick up the pieces so that it goes into a straight line like that. Otherwise, it's going to annoy me. By the way, in myself, I feel like I found the sort of style I like in building wise. I really like whimsical islands. I feel like that's obvious at this point. I also really, really like kid core. And so I try to incorporate the fun and colorfulness of kid core, but not make it kid core into my islands. I feel like that's how Love Bug came out. I was so happy with how Love Bug looked by the end of it. I really liked it. And like I said, I feel like I I managed to create a colorful fun looking island without it looking kid core and that's going to be my style from now on every island i'm building is going to be colorful apart from my stream island that seems to be less colorful but you watch you watch me try and fit color in there somewhere because otherwise i'll go mad so i want to put some vertical board fence along here as well i want to leave a little bit of a cutway here so that you can get to the beach because i'm gonna say it again i'm decorating the beaches yes i am i have more time I have more time for this island to do the beaches so I can do them. There is no excuse. I think I'm going to have to bring this up this way. I need to make sure I don't take up too much space going left because of that project I have an idea for. I don't know why I give myself these big ideas. I'm going to try and do it in the next video, but it could be one of those builds that takes a few days or even over a week to build. So it might be that something else comes out before it, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so in Lily's house area, I feel like we need a few flowers. I'm probably going to have to grab some more. And then leading from this decking that we have, I'm going to just use the little flower path that I have. Actually, do I want to use that or is that too bright? Do you know what? Instead, I'm going to use this one. The one I tried to use for her house. <laughs> and I failed, mis I failed miserably again. That I failed miserably to try and make it look nice. So let's try that again. And then I have the most predictable table, a lily pad table 
table and then the most predictable thing to go with it on this lily table a froggy chair yep <laughs> a froggy chair because why not why not be predictable also will this marsh partition look nice here no i don't really like that there maybe we could stick a flower in oh i don't have any i'm gonna have to grab some more flowers maybe the marsh partition will look better behind possibly let's see let's push you forward and then i'm gonna stick the marsh partition here and i want to see what it looks like Oh, do you know what? I kind of like it. No, I don't. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this little bit. Why does it look so strange? So I'm going to pop in a bush back here. I really want to use the little table. Do you know what actually might look nicer? I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, I can get rid of it. I'm going to continue the decking. I'm going to continue this little decking onto the side here. And then I'm going to put down the table and the chair. And I think it just might... It might work. Right, so there goes our froggy chair. Oh yeah, look, it already looks instantly better. And there's the little table. Oh, it looks so cute. And guess what I have? Guess, 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 guess. Leaf pile. You said leaf pile, you were correct. Although I want to move it over just one little bit slightly because I'm so fussy. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my hedges back out. I actually like these little stones, by the way. On the side i'm so weird i like them actually to make it look like it's on purpose i'm gonna stick one here because otherwise it looks like i just missed it and i didn't it was just an accident that i like oh my gosh look at her cute little house oh okay i'm obsessed i'm obsessed let's put the mush partition here like so cute and then i want to put a code down the side hmm do we use the flowers or do i use something else i'm gonna try and use this let me see if i can make this work so this is like a green circle code but obviously i'm not gonna use the full circle of it and then let's shove in a, a flower maybe a cute little bench on there i'm gonna see i'm gonna see if i can get a bench to look nice right let's try this i got the garden bench Ooh, it does look nice. I think this puts me off. Yeah, see? Because I instantly like that better. It looks more sprinkle. I'll find somewhere else for the mush partition to go. Maybe it can go in here. Oh, yes. And then I could put a green one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. Right, get a green one. I went into a panic and just got excited and spun. I have the green one. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so over the top. I love it. Right, let's do the lines on the road now. I'm gonna have to do these angled ones first. Oh my gosh, why can I never stick it in the right spot? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. He's so sweet. I can't choose a favorite frog. Let me know your favorite frogs, but I can't choose one. I don't feel like I can. They're all so cute. They're all very adorable. I really do like Custo. I like the little yellow frog. I love Henry. I love Tad. Oh, it's too hard. It's too hard to choose. Obviously, I like Lily. By the way, I'm not having puddles on this island. I just thought I'd make that clear now because I know a lot of you love puddles. She's not coming here. No, she's not. I've had her on my previous island. So if you want to see puddles and see me build a little house area for puddles, I did do it on my latest island, Love Bug. So go watch that if you want to see. I'm not going to have her on this island just because she's bright pink. She won't fit in with the rest of the colors. But all this has come out so cute. Okay, I'm really happy with it. I want to do a little bit more terraforming behind the house just so I can stick a few trees up there. Also, my new thing seems to be fencing in resident services. I've just done something quite similar on my island tumblebean on my streams. So I guess I like doing this too. So there is fine. I think I'm going to do a tunnel or we could do a bendy road. I don't know. I'm going to have to leave that side because like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Now onto the beach quickly. Well, not the beach beach, but this bit here. We need to add a little bit of a path do i like that i don't think so i don't like that no right change of plan change of code change of plan instead we're gonna go with this oh that looks so much better so yeah you walk onto the beach there do you know what i need i need a lamp a lantern lamp thing okay what i was trying to say was street lamp <laughs> gotta try a curved street light rather <laughs> not even street lab we've got a little street light let's pull it over here so you can just walk under it gives you a little town feel then i feel like it feels like it's a town i wish i give lily some something else you know i wish i give her something else she needs something on the table let's figure it out right to go on the table i think she deserves a tea set see a little tea set for Lily. Although now you can't see it's a Lily table. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. Why did I pick up the leaf pile anyway? 
Right, put it back. <laughs> now, quick, 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 because I'm crazy, and I don't know why I'm saying quick, because it doesn't really matter how long I take. I want to fill this bit in so that I can get in here to add a lily pad code onto the floor. I think we need lily pads. I would have loved to have terraformed a little lily pad pond here, but I just don't have the space. Let's do another little lily pad here. I feel like I have to do this. This is the law. This is the rules. A little karopi snack on a lily pad. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. This island has got me really excited. <laughs> anyway, back up to this way because we got to go decorate where Tutu is. You need to move. Ooh, I'm going to get hedges out. Stick them there. And then I'm going to get my simple wooden fencing like I did in front of Lily's house. And we're going to shove it across here. And then I need a tree. There's a tree right next to us. So that's super handy. Oh, oh gosh. I'm messing everything up. Also, my native fruit on this island was apples, just in case you're wondering. And I'm not going to be keeping that as my native fruit. I'm thinking pears because we've already got green going on and pears are green so i was thinking pears maybe might work also i wasn't sure if i want to use bamboo and looking at it more from over there i don't think i want to i feel like it might make it too swamp core and i don't want it to be swamp core so i'm not going to be using bamboo also i don't think this is going to fit no it doesn't how big is this thing oh my gosh it doesn't even go in there in that case i wonder if the pine tree will look nice up here because i'm definitely not going to get a tree in yeah, a tree definitely won't go behind the waterfall and in between the edge of the cliff. Oh, it goes to there. This game is annoying. Okay, I need some bushes. Wait, I want to go up here. I want to put a bush in this part. So let's put a bush and then I'm going to stick in a... Oh, <laughs> and then I'm going to stick in a flower. Let's go for a nice bright hyacinth. And now let's put our pine tree back. Since that should fill in the gap quite nicely. We should be able to push it all the way up. Yeah, like so. And then obviously I'll stick in... Oh, I don't have any. I'll stick in real trees. Although I did want to do a bit of water terraforming. I don't think it's going to let me now. No, that's so annoying. Let's add some more flowers. I know, I know I've been saying I don't want to add too many flowers everywhere. But I can't help it. It's spring court. Let me do what I want. <laughs> Hopefully my tree will go in here. Oh, it does. Now, before we carry on, I need to make sure I like it. Because if I don't like it, I'm going to be very upset. But I hope I do. Oh, you can see it from here, though. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, I like. I like it. I like it. I'm happy. I'm happy so far. Now, we do need to fill in a few more little gaps here. I think maybe the mushroom item could work, but I'm going to rummage through my storage. Okay, before we go back over there, I customized an angled signpost. Oh, it needs to go that way, like that. I thought it might block the little frog, but it doesn't. You can still see him pretty clearly. And then also, I got another little karupi snack, which obviously is a little frog. I want to stick him here. I need more frogs. It needs more frogs around so that this makes it obvious that it's a frog island now back over to this little spot that we have i think we need to start sticking weeds down weeds are important especially for spring core they add to it all i don't know what it is about weeds on spring core but it's it needs to happen i'm gonna put down our doily again and then on top of our little doily i've got a clothesline i customized to have a little green checkered shirt on which is too cute i have an old-fashioned wash tub too to go there so it looks like someone's washing their clothes oh it's too cute i'm so happy with this island already <laughs> for some reason i feel like i need this like i need this i need this karopi lantern to go here i also need another tree hang on two sex tree 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 See, I need this tree to go specifically here. It's very important. Otherwise, it makes the lantern look weird. Apparently, I can't help myself again. I say that I'll stop at a certain limit, and I never do. I just don't. I give that a spin. We got a little tray. And then I also got the bamboo candle holder to go on there. Oh... Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This might look better if it's a bush. In goes the little bush. Yeah, see, that looks so much better. Don't know why, it just does. I'm leaving this side today. Although I am thinking I might stick a house there or Nook's Cranny because that could work. A few more little things I want to place before we finish today's entrance build. I want to put a little mush lamp here because I want to keep the mushroom theme going as well because I feel like that's important to do. I like the mushroom there. For some reason, I picked up this. I guess I just thought it was amusing. I'm amused by it. It adds absolutely everything you could ever want. Cute little bug caught in a jar. Yes. <laughs> okay, I need leaf piles. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to like it. 
I hardly ever use the cars. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Maybe it will look better if it's on the other side of the road. Give it a push. <laughs> I'm so unsure right now if I'm gonna like this car, but hopefully. Oh, I do like the car. I do, I like the car. Okay, right over here, leaf pal. In goes the leaf pal. And then over here, I do have a little garden wagon, which for no reason whatsoever, we're just gonna put here. And I'm actually, I think I'm gonna pull it up towards the clothesline. I have no reason why I do this, by the way. I just put stuff down. It needs to be in the lines. Right, in it goes. Cute. Maybe all the way to the side. Actually, no. Maybe back this way. Or maybe just not at all. Because I don't like it. <laughs> I think I just like it plain. I think I like it plain. I don't have to fill every square. But yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done for today's build. So let's have a look around at what we've done today. So here we have it. We have our first entrance build on my island, Hoppington. And we did Lily's house. I feel like I never really put a house right at the entrance i don't remember a time where i've ever done that maybe close to an entrance but not literally on top or part of the entrance build so it was very exciting to do that for the first time but i've got a little road going down here i'm thinking we're either going to carry this road on maybe an angle or i don't know yet it depends how i do the terraforming because if i go across with the terraforming i could do a fake tunnel or if i don't i can make it kind of like a little canyony type style but obviously not a canyon but you know what i mean and then here is lily's house she's got a cute little area i've kept it very minimal decorating i feel for her house i could have stuck something here and i tried and it just didn't work i love the view in the background i think once there's more trees on the left side as well it's gonna look so adorable let's carry on up this way although the temptation to see what it looks like with pink trees so there's like a pink splash in here is is crazy but i don't think i'm gonna do it we got our first little pond on the island with some karopi snacks as the little frogs and there's also one here sign telling you where resident services is you can go up here we got a little washing area you can wash your clothes and i love this i love this little combination of items i've put here so you're probably gonna see more of that <laughs> more of that around the island this side i don't know what i'm doing yet either so i've just kind of left it bare i didn't want to chuck too many trees down i would i could fill this with trees as well but i don't think i'm going to i might stick a little park here i think that'd be a nice little filler other than using trees all the time but yeah overall i'm so happy with our first build and i can't wait to do the next one but there we have it we finished our first ever build on my island hovington i hope you all enjoyed today's build and video i am so excited for this island honestly i have some big plans like big big plans so i hope you're excited for those anyway if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jellybean family hope you have the loveliest of days and i will see you in my next one goodbye